Oh yeah, hi there. So this is the video on using Tabulator with uh, in Svelte. So Tabulator is awesome. You can go search it, um, make data tables. This is just their default. So I have here with on mount and with action. And there's two things you can do. Remove data, makes it like that, and I can toggle table. So just make it disappear and come back. So let me show you how you, I would usually do it with on mount before I learned about actions and how making uh, using actions makes it a lot easier. Okay, so first my on mount table. So I'm just importing them here and then passing in columns and my data, which come from here. Really confusing, but you can look up um, with tabulator what all that is. Okay, so on mount table. First, import tabulator, and then I have to import on mount from Svelte. I'm receiving my data here. Show table, this is for toggling. Okay, so here with on mount, what I have to do, so first of all, I have to import on mount. And then I have to have a table component right here. Okay, so this table component is going to bind with this div um, because I need to know which node it's being mounted to. So on mount, I have make table right here. So I say table equals new tabulator, blah, blah, blah. Right, so there's no way to do this without on mount. The, the, this tabulator is expecting you to give it a node, and it's going to mount it to that node. Right, so on mount, pass it in, all of this here. And then on click, my data equals nothing, show table equals not show table. So because tabulator is not really uh, hooked up with Svelte, I need to have these reactive statements to kind of kind of in a hacky way make this table update. So I do have this table that I can use, but I need to be watching. So data. So if my data changes, this will run again. Um, if we're not showing table, alert, bye bye table. Okay, if table and show table, make table. See, this is actually kind of, I don't even know if this is the best way to do this. It's kind of just hacky way to say like, okay, if anything changes here, then I need to kind of like redo something with my table. Okay, so this is on mount. This is kind of weird. I wouldn't suggest doing this. Uh, let me show you how to do it with an action. So here I don't have to import anything. That's nice. I like that. I have this also, and I just have this action. Uh, it's pretty simple. That's all I have is just this action with this update. So here I'm using a table action and I'm passing it in data and columns. Okay, and then on same thing here, show table, it's just toggling. So here I just say update data, take data and replace data. So whenever anything here, basically my data or my columns changes, it's going to run this update. And I'm just saying, okay, if data changes, then replace it right here. And here I have this table. So the nice thing is I can just have table inside this function. I don't need it outside of it. And it's passing in this node for me. So like an on mount, I needed to have this table component. Uh, maybe I should have called it table node or something. That's the node. But here it just gets passed in and my table can stay inside this function and there's nothing outside of it that I have to interact with. Um, and here show table true. That's also nice because, um, so here I can destroy alert by by table. That's what I was trying to do. Um, right here. It's a bit different. Um, the other one, this one's kind of buggy in on mount. So anyway, I can have this destroy. It says bye bye. Um, and yeah, that's about it. It's just a lot cleaner, looks nicer. Um, and it makes using tabulator a lot easier. So tabulator is great. I'd suggest using it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I kind of just dumped a bunch of stuff on you here, but, um, I'll, Put the link to this repl. Please like and subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.